It is really a spectacular area of the world and especially in winter it's so beautiful. The sense of remoteness, the sense of isolation is very acute and when you go further higher up or deeper into the heart of the mountains there is a very good chance that a snow leopard might walk right in front of me. The first time I heard a snow leopard roar, I still remember a long time ago. And suddenly I heard this roaring call. I mean, if anything, it was just sheer wildness. My name is Shafkat Hussain. I'm a professor of anthropology at Trinity College in Hartford, Connecticut. I work on a snow leopard conservation project in northern Pakistan that has been running for the last 20 years. I have never seen a snow leopard in the wild. You're dealing with an animal that is very, very elusive and its habitat is very difficult to study. Many times I have told my colleagues when you know, we are setting up camera traps or doing surveys that I'm sure that a snow leopard is watching me from somewhere up there. The snow leopards are incessant communicators. I wonder what they would do if they had, you know, all this new social media technology, right? Because just like we human beings, we are always connecting. And you can see the snow leopard, you know, doing the same by leaving all these marks in their territory. There it's a spray or leaving their cheek hair, as if these cats are trying to communicate with other cats in this big, vast and empty landscape. We have been working in close to 25 villages in the region of Baltistan. 95% of these people keep livestock and they also have small agricultural fields and every now and then their livestock gets attacked by predators such as snow leopard that really brings a huge economic loss for these people so then they retaliate by attacking and killing these predators we have set up close to 20 small micro insurance programs where local people get compensated for their losses. The other strategy is to construct predator-proof corrals because that is very impactful in the long run in reducing mortality from snow leopard attacks. We are also implementing a conservation education program. Unless we get the human equation side right, it's very difficult to sustain any conservation effort in the long run. We think that in our area, we can claim that snow leopard population is stable. There's also a threat from climate change and global warming with receding ice line. But I think snow leopards will definitely be around for a long, long time. I hope that in the years to come, snow leopard sighting will become a everyday phenomenon. This is a planet worth protecting. Tell us how you're answering the call with the hashtag CallToEarth.